But today I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog about this uh, volcano I'm always going on about. This giant volcano crater that I live near. So I live in Lismore, to the south of it, about, I don't know, 50 kilometers or 80 kilometers from Mount Warning, which is in the middle of it. It's a giant crater caused by what's called a shield volcano, which is a volcano with very viscous lava, it spreads a long way. It created a crater that's about 80 kilometers in diameter. Almost all my adventures have gone on around that crater, except for when I've, you know, traveled a long way away. It's amazing how much it takes in. You can hardly see it from here. I'll show you some better views and some maps and some pictures as we go through the day. Let's find out what this big volcano is all about. So we've headed north out of Lismore, up the Nimbin Road. We're already starting to see some examples of volcanic activity from those 23 million years ago. All these ridges that are coming out are like little fingers of lava that came out from the volcano. Probably spilled over the top of the crater edge. They go for miles in lots of directions. In fact, Mount Tambourine, which is a good Oh, I don't know, something like a hundred kilometers north of the actual crater is a big blob of lava from this volcano. Now that in front, that's blue dog. That's actually part of the crater edge. We're going to go through a little valley uh, between Blue Knob and the border ranges where you can get in from Nimbin or Kyogle direction. So that's the way we're going to get into the caldera today. So as we approach Nimbin, we get a view of the Nimbin rocks, which are toes. Big pieces of rock that didn't erode as much as everything else. And there they are. I love how there's trees on top and everything. <laughs> that's, that's the Sphinx rock, so called, so it looks a bit like the Sphinx. Just to the right of that big blue knob mountain. Uh, I've got to head to the Sphinx rock cafe. So, Blue Knob Mountain there is the southern side of the crater. Those mountains we can see through the gap. That's the border ranges, which are the western side of the crater. And we're going to slip in the little gap in between. Actually, I might just check if this cafe is open. Save me a bit of time if it was. Looks like it might be. Well, that was rather a delightful breakfast and coffee at the Blue Knob Hall Gallery Cafe. Very good value run by volunteers so they don't have costs of paying staff. Big mug of coffee at a full breakfast for $18.50. Bloody good, mate. Anyway, since I was able to stop there, I don't have to go all the way up the top of the road now. And, uh, I can go up this road, Lillian Rock Road. Now, I used to live up this road. It was a pretty rough gravel road. I wonder if it still is. It was 20 years ago when I lived up here. these corrugations well. Oh my god. Don't tell me they've tired all this. You're kidding me. I keep losing dirt roads. I don't believe they've tired all this. Oh my god.
Anyway, onward and upward. So that way is Kyogo, that way is into the crater. Just gonna go this way a little bit. There's a should be a good viewing point along here. Good viewing point and some assholes dumped their fridge or whatever. Nice. Looking into the crater and there's some fucking trees in the way. Like, what's this with these trees? If you've got to be able to look out, keep it clear. It's only camphor laurel. Just cut it down. Jeez. Okay, anyway, there it is, my warning. The plug in the middle of the giant crater. Here's what's all around it. Springbrook National Park. Bill goes up there a lot. Wollumbin National Park and Mebelin National Park. That's where we went camping. Down in there. Because we're going to go up now, backtrack a bit. Up the New South Wales side of the border ranges. Do a bit of exploring. try and find the other end of that little road that I tried to get through from the Kyogle end the day I rescued that biker. And I thought if I could see this end it might see if there really is a way through. The other end of that road. I'm pretty sure. Whoa, a bit of mud. That's a cabin being built there. Oh, hell, it's going in further than I thought it would. It only was like a kilometre and a half to that other road where the guy said this road doesn't exist anymore. This is pretty awesome in here. Something comes in here, there's tire tracks. I'm getting this far. What the hell, eh? <coughs> no private signs. This is what I was expecting was a big downhill at some point. Deserted little place. No. This is possibly unwise.
Hello, anybody about? Shit, I don't know whether to go further or not. Oh, fuck, we'll have come this far. It's looking very private. Jesus. Anybody about? Oh, curiosity's got the better of me. I'm going to continue down this very, very steep hill. Holy shit. Yep, this is fucking nuts. I don't know if the camera will do this justice, but this is stupidly steep. It's fucking going somewhere. Oh, more stupidly steep stuff. Wow, that was nearly it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have run out of road. And I met some deer. Hello, deer. Oh, I haven't run out of road. Maybe. Oh my god, there's the road I'm trying to get to. I have found the link road. Huh? Well, there you go. That's bloody awesome. Got totally distracted from being in the crater, came out over the edge of the crater, down the other side. And this looks fucking private, doesn't it? Well, there you go. This should be Horseshoe Creek Road. Now I'm on. Survived whatever the fuck that was. So I tried to find it from this end, but uh, Google Maps had me on the wrong driveway. Now, if I'd have seen that driveway as it, I wouldn't have thought that was public access anyway. I didn't see any signs saying it wasn't, and I had a good look. And I tried to ask people in the houses I came across. There was nobody there. No job done, really, as far as I'm concerned. For once, I win! Google Maps loses. It's usually the other way around. Bloody awesome. I feel adventured now. So thanks for watching everybody. Ride safe and I'll see you on the next one.